now seven personnel of the Nigeria Police Force and five personnel of the Federal Road Safety Corps have received recommendation for their selfless and untiring efforts in controlling traffic within Abuja. The Israel Evil Emei Foundation, while presenting hampers to the personnel and scholarships for their awards in Abuja, urged Nigerians in public service to continue to put their best to ensure the nation's progress. Our correspondent, Amadine Uye, tells us more. With an estimated 2.4 million in population, Abuja, Nigeria's federal capital, is one of Nigeria's fastest growing city. The National Population Commission says this figure rose from an estimated 800,000 persons in 2006. With an increase in population comes severe traffic gridlocks on major highways within the city center. While many have described their traffic situation as chaotic, some believe traffic controllers should be commended for their efforts in ensuring free-flowing traffic on major highways. The traffic that you see them every time on the roads, they control traffic, ensure that free, uh, that free flow of traffic on the street. And if you look at them, they spend most of their life on the road controlling traffic. The organization took time out to give hampers to traffic controllers and scholarships to their awards. A feat which came as a surprise to the recipients. I would say this season that there is need for all to recognize them. Also to encourage them to do more because they take the high risk. All the so that's what we decided to do. It was a secret assignment and in collaboration with the CP, we decided to surprise them. None of them were know what is going on today. So what you see is a surprise. We surprise them, including the um, the scholarship. None of them were aware until this afternoon. So nobody knew about what was going on. So it's a surprise. We are happy that they are also happy. We are happy that also they are encouraged. So that is my joy. Here at the police division headquarters in Asokoro, Abuja, seven traffic controllers were commended for their outstanding contribution to the society. For some of the recipients, it was unexpected and being singled out out of several traffic waters across the FCT. They said they are highly grateful and ecstatic about the commendation. We'll speak to one of those who received the award today, Antonia Uchendu. How do you feel being one of those being uh, awarded today? Honestly, I feel excited. I'm so happy. I never expected this, but I thank God Almighty who made it possible. That even when I'm working, I work with my mind, with all my heart. I never knew that people are watching me. So when I was called upon, it's a thing of glory. I give God all the glory. I thank him for everything. I feel delighted. I'm very, very happy. I'm going to 2020. I still want to do more than what I'm doing now. The next point of call was the Federal Road Safety Corps Sector Command in Abuja. Another five traffic controllers received hampers and two other lucky ones received scholarships for their children and wards. When he put a call to me that this is what he wants to do, uh, that was the day before yesterday, and I said, it's a good one. At least it will encourage staff. In fact, the way he wanted to do it, I had to appeal to him. And he's somebody who listened to advice, the way I understand. When he said he wanted to visit them on the route, I said, no. If you are going to have press with you, I personally advise that let it be done in the office so that other staff around will also be there to witness what is going to happen. The sector commander, Ayuba Wobin, commended a gesture of goodwill, saying it will boost the morale of his personnel. It will, especially those of them who also witness and those of them who watch you people when you now uh, put it on television for during your news for people to see. I can assure you, some of them will now increase their speed of work. That is, that is my belief. Both the Nigeria Police Force and the Federal Road Safety Corps have commended the gesture of the Israeli Belema Foundation, calling on Nigerians to emulate their action. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.